get right back to that fire. It broke out at the Robinson family farm around one o'clock this afternoon. According to some patrons who were there, no injuries or deaths have been reported, but a lot of cars have been damaged. Six News reporter Darren Wallace is live at the scene where law enforcement just finished up controlling the scene. Darren, what's the latest? Bailey, behind me, an array of cars that were all caught in the flames after after a massive fire broke out earlier today at the Robinson Family Farm. If you can see them behind me, I spoke with Helen Robinson, who's the owner of the Robinson Family Farm, and she told me that there was no actual damage to the farm itself, but unfortunately, all the cars that I can see are basically uh, a total loss. A few fire departments were on scene to water the cars and surrounding areas. The Robins Robinson also told me there are no injuries to report, according to her and law enforcement. No official word on the cause of the fire. Now, I spoke with a woman earlier, uh, Lindsay Rucker, who was down at the farm when the fire started, and unfortunately, she lost a car to the fire as well. She says her friend called her hysterical on the phone, trying to get her to run up and save her car. She yeah, kept yeah. calling me and calling me, and I was on the phone, so I kept declining her call, and finally I answered. She's like, Lindsay, there's a fire by our cars, because I was right next to her. She's like, your car is on fire. By the time I turned around, there was already cars off. Lindsay told me her Lindsay record told me her and other patrons at the farm believe the fire was started by a lit cigarette that was thrown on the ground. Police nor fire departments have been able to identify the cause of the fire. So we will be following this developing story as we learn more updates and information. We will report that information later tonight at 10 and also on our website at KCENTV.com. For now, live in Temple, I'm Darren Wallace, 6 News. Bailey? All right, thank you, Darren. I know there's going to be a lot of questions and people looking for answers for this one. Thank you.